Who would have thought being safety conscious could be made trendy? From top man to urban outfitters and boohoo man, among others, many are selling items that look like stab vests, branded as fashionable. It's a trend that's been propelled by popular culture. Grime artist Stormzy wore a stab-proof vest designed by Banksy at last year's Glastonbury Festival. He might have been making a statement, but they've also been seen on catwalks. Now there's the option to have them in your wardrobe. We found this one from an online retailer for just £10. At first glance, it does look like a real one, so if someone was to mistake it for the real deal, it wouldn't offer any protection at all. Father of two, Dean Dorr, isn't surprised. That's just fashion. So fashion is, you know, is creating what people want. You know, if there's a need for it, then people are going to obviously fill the gaps. When Dean's stepson was robbed at knife point twice, he decided to make slash-proof clothing out of necessity. He's worried these vests could attract unwanted attention. If you're walking around in a stab-proof vest and you're going to get other people who want to put it to the test, they want to challenge it, you know, they may think that you've got something to hide. But for the generation these items are aimed at, they see no issue. There is an element of, of glamorising in this, there's no doubt about this. Um, what worries me more is the fact that for many young people, this is just a normal garment that you would wear. They don't think about what it's really saying. You do not have to go around wearing a stab vest. You should not have to go around wearing a stab vest. Lydia and Joshua work with people affected by knife crime and know people who are victims of it. But they say they would buy one. You see people on the street that are wearing camouflage trousers and tops and jumpers and tracksuits. And it's not that they want to go out and fight and, I guess, bomb another country. It's just a fashion statement. So I feel like if you're going to use something like that and say that it's almost to ignite violence, I don't think that makes sense. I've seen it in music videos. I see people wearing on the street. It's not, it's not like, it's, it's just nothing. It's just ordinary, do you know what I'm saying? So have you bought one yourself? No, I haven't got one. I plan, I plan on getting one, though. Not all of the vests are fake. This brand told us they do offer some protection. They and retailers Boohoo Man said they would never use fashion to condone violence. We approached Top Man and Urban Outfitters for comment, and following that, the retailer removed this product from their website. The Home Office told us they are determined to do all they can to tackle knife crime. These vests may just be fashion and a form of expression, but for critics, there's no hiding from the apparent glamorisation of an item that could save lives. Ashna Harinag, Sky News.